It's been 50 years since the War of the Wilds, and still nothing grows on the Kindlelands. The exact day the flora of the world stood up and ravaged the cities of the Greenor Peninsula is lost to the ages. After the Great Fire tore its way from west to east, turning the land barren and fallow, the otherworldly patrons, the guides, and the great cities of the Kindlelands worked together in their own way to bring a kind of peace to a war-torn people. It is a gentle, delicate balance, and something or someone threatens it. Welcome to Another Path. My name is Chase, and I will, once again, be your GM. Today we reconvene with our heroes as they return to Despera and take some time to pull themselves together after a pretty rough day. I'd like to take this moment to extend our thanks to each and every person that has come with us on this journey so far, as this episode marks our one-year anniversary of doing this. It's been a fantastic ride for us, and a labor of love that has brought us into an excellent community of listeners, players, and podcasters. The best way you can continue to support our show is to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash anotherpath. And of course, we're going to thank a couple of our uh, Patreon backers, uh, Jeremy and Kim, this time, for their continued support. And as just a quick warning, we do have some minor Black Panther spoilers going on towards the beginning of the episode in the banter. If you want to go ahead and skip past those uh, spoilers, uh, we'll be getting into the episode right around the six minute mark. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your trip down another path. how on your character sheet you always write down the important notes yes and if they're actually super important you write them down in pen so you don't accidentally erase yep. them well uh, since turning into an elf i have um two things written down on my elf jackson character sheet mm -hmm. uh and one of them is captain to remind myself of that uh the other one is to remind myself of uh, Jackson's elf name uh, and that he is, in fact, Buddy the Elf. That's true. Oh, fuck. I forgot all about that. <laughs> that is a thing. I, I blotted forgot. that from my memory for good reason. Yeah, I, I created a, um, a known aliases section on my character sheet. That's important. I have, nice. I have down that I can become a bear, a wolf, and a spider. Good. Spider. A spider, please. These are all our, our various forms. Which now here's your, yeah. here's your here's your can foley, right? I mean, we already mm. got that beautiful uh. box foley from you earlier. It was it was yeah. been two very satisfying openings. See, I in a couple I, of minutes you could here. call it satisfying, or I could say ear cancer. So, <laughs> <laughs> hopping back to my wild shapes real quick. Have you all seen this cool wild shapes? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's so. I neat. love that. I'm gonna have to copy these down from my phone later because I tried to get these printed out before we recorded. But yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah. We're gonna those have to are, link to where people baller. can get these very cool character sheets that we've all been absolutely using um, for Sunday. Because I'm they're I'm, like hand drawn. There's specific yeah. sections on them. Oh, are you for talking about the sheets from r n w dot net? Yeah, they're real. Great. Yeah, those. Thanks, Zach Rob. Oh, guys, wait, check out this, this tea I bought. Uh, I needed a new shirt to wear to the uh, Infinity War uh, premiere next month. So it says yeah. in the black nice. order on it because I'm repping Thanos' side, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is coming out next month. I'm so it? excited. I mean, we're all sick of, you know, the 27 different superheroes they're going to try to stick into this movie. And they all have to have their... The entire movie whoa, is whoa, just going to be whoa. one giant... Don't speak <laughs> for me. I'm so excited for this movie. Yeah, I'm. I'm on. <laughs> I'm for myself. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ryan. You're, you're you're on your own. I'll see it. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm superheroed out, and then Black Panther happened. And is anything ever going to be better than Black Panther? I mean, I would like to think that you know they can kind of keep the ball rolling. Black Panther was so good, you guys. It was very. Black my, Panther was really, really. My really aunt good. likes Black Panther. My aunt doesn't like superhero movies, and she was all in on Black Panther. 
Can we talk about how Shuri is definitely the best part of that movie, It was though? incredible. She's incredible. Oh, yeah. My favorite moment in that movie was how they just, just offed Andy Serkis, the biggest name villain yeah. that they've had, and he was phenomenal. I was like, oh, and then shit. he's gone. And I was like, okay. Michael B. Jordan did not come to play. No. It was real touch and go whether we'd be able to go see Black Panther or not. We saw it the uh, two nights before jj decided to grace us with its presence oh good yeah there was a couple of times she very clearly had contractions and it was it was a little touch and go but you know we made it through black panther which is good which is Uh, impressive because that's also not a short movie no it's a pretty long movie yeah it's a very long movie but worth it yeah but yes jj jeffrey james is born Mm. huzzah and uh excuse me hopefully at no point tonight do we hear his dulcet tones (laughs) Hashtag airplanes watch. I am certainly I mean, not yeah, in a soundproof room. No, <laughs> I mean I would be fine hearing his, his dulcet tones because seeing little little children make my ovaries explode. So that's fair. I mean that, and I just really love babies. You guys. News at news at ten. News at ten. Breaking news. Breaking news. Zachary ovary bearer. The four of you arrive back in despair to a little fanfare. You make straight for the Mages Guild. Seeing you arrive, the Night Guard insists on pulling the Magus out of bed so you can fill her in. You do so, sparing few, if any, details, telling her of the strange lair beneath the forest. She is visibly shaken, but her voice remains steady. She thanks you for your time and offers you room for the nights and takes Era away to discuss her compensation. For the first time since you left the inn out there, the three of you are alone with each other. What do you do? Phrasing. (sighs) It's not phrasing if it's intentional. (laughs) I know, but somebody's got to call out the jerks. What time of day is it? It's it's pretty late at night. Uh, You guys hoofed it back, and it was uh, it's about a twelve hour journey from uh, Despera to uh, to that forest. So you walked from eight in the morning to eight or nine at night. I would say. Okay, I think that rolling back into Despera. Yep. Yeah, I think that most of that travel back, Mordecai was just was very in his head just trying to process everything not just all the information but just the that was a little brutal back there he probably like he honestly probably like took an hour to to wolf around and you know shadow the group for a while just kind of zone out and it's probably that probably hasn't changed much coming back into town yeah i feel like it was probably a really quiet walk because i feel it like was like zephyr hasn't gotten like that since the like the war probably yeah he got real dark there and i feel like he's probably really introspective about that like that's a side of zephyr he does not like to come out and, and so it came out fucking f- full beat like full blast there jackson certainly is absolutely in his own head and is um and walking back is remembering some choices that he's made before and the last time he had to do this the last time that he well he kills jackson's killed a lot of people but it's always been in the name of something or for something and no other choice it's been a long time since jackson has killed someone in cold blood like that and then just gone on a rampage It was something he's blocked from his memory as much as possible, and this quest just got a little more dark. Mordecai kind of awkwardly clears his throat just to break the silence. Just, um, why don't we, oh boy, why don't we just take the night, gents? Let's, uh, go do whatever we need to do, and let's regroup in the morning, huh? All right. Yeah, I think Zephyr just sort of with a nod is like, yeah, that's that's I can deal with that. Okay. All right. Uh, the three of you take your leave of the office, and as you are walking out, Jeremiah like bumps into you at the door. It's like, ah, good. I was uh, hoping to find y'all. Um, we're we're fixing to leave if y'all are ready to go. Not now. Not now. We're, we we want to stay the night here. You know, keep the mm-hmm. safety of the city over our heads. But. Uh, uh, tomorrow, maybe the next day, if y'all need a day, but we're, 
you know, this this next leg of the journey is kind of tough. So um, uh, we want to kind of tackle that as soon as we can. Going south, yeah? Yeah, it's the, it's the south road's pretty easy to manage, but it's the it's the mountain range that's going to be tough. And uh, Concentre's right on the top there, so there ain't no going through right. the low passes or the tunnels. We got to... We got to brave the damn thing, and that's never great. Yeah, Jeremiah, we've uh, we've kind of had a day, so um, sure. Yeah, let's talk in the morning, huh? All right, all right. Uh, well, we're um, we're in the central courtyards. If you need us, uh, all right. Well, y'all have a good night, and he kind of walks off deeper into the guild itself. Zephyr. Disney, hello. There you go. There's that voice. There's that sultry <clears throat> voice. I haven't had to use it yet. Yes, I, it's been a lot of introspection. I haven't had to use the voice yet. There we go. You take your leave of the other two and decide that you want to grab a nightcap at the salad bowl just to quiet your mind. <laughs> you know, maybe just like one or twelve. Yeah, uh, somewhere. Look, those one of those numbers is going to be involved. Certainly. It's a rowdy night, and a lot of people are laughing and having a good time, and it kind of finally starts to break your mood down a little bit. And you're about to offer to play a set when you look beside you, and Connor Slip has grabbed the stool next to you. Hey there. Hey there. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. How are you doing, my friend? Well, I am, um, yeah, I have been better. Uh, had a bit of an ordeal happen. Yeah, I saw that business out at the inn out there. It was a damn shame to lose my place to get a drink on the way out, but, uh, I mean, it's there, but the place is trashed. Yeah, the, the, more has transpired since then, but that was, uh, she, you, that was definitely not a, a, a great, uh, addition to our current tale. No, that's, uh, yeah, that was a pretty grim thing to pass. I'm, can only imagine what's going on since you've been, uh, well, either way, glad I caught you here. I wanted to let you know, Yandi, that gnome that we, uh, that we, that I helped you get out. Yeah. Uh, we lost her. What, what do you mean you lost her? And look, okay. First off, I didn't lose her, but she's lost in transit. There was a point where she had to go from one location to another. I don't know where, don't you ask me. But she didn't make it to to that second location. Now maybe she's running late, but uh, and you better keep your head down just a little bit, just in case. Yeah, where are you heading next? Just give me a roll second me, here. Roll me a deception check. Oh, roll me a deception check. Yeah, please. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to use that, uh, that ring of the liar here. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to. Good call. Fantastic. That is 22. Okay. You are able to hide the fact that you really don't want to tell him. Mm -hmm. Um, And you're able to just pass it off as you, like, hey, I'm taking a really long drink. This beer is very good. Um, And he's like, well, nonetheless, uh, if you're heading south, keep an eye out. I know that's uh, that's the last direction I sent her towards. Uh, there's apparently some sort of base outside of Bulwark that uh, that they send the mages to kind of an intermediary before they resettle him somewhere. Who is supposed to pick her up? I know this normally breaks our chain we have, but um, I need a name of some sort. Uh, I just know him as Greenstone. I just code names. Code names. They're the one that oversees the um, uh, the next stop, but uh, that's all I got. When we ran into you in Plainswatch, you had told me she had made it out. So what changed? I told you she made it out. I'm the one that took her out. I got her uh, out on the road there. And um, then... Can I insight check? Uh, do an insight check here? You absolutely yeah, can. I want to see uh, if this dude's trying to, to, you know, him being where you heading next is him being like, uh, 
yeah, tell me where you're going so I know where you're going to be at and can send people to you. Go for it. All right, let's see. That is 19. Yeah, buddy. His motivations are entirely professional. He just wants to make sure this job is being done properly. Okay, well, I'm not telling him where I'm going, um, because that still sure. seems dumb. Um, but he, I he, don't... he did wave that off for you. Yeah. You're good. Cool. All right, well, then I don't totally distrust him, but I don't really trust him still. <laughs> uh, he, he is still a shady character. I gave her to my contact, and my contact was supposed to send her to Greenstone, and there there is a gap where you've got to kind of make the journey on your own for a little ways, and she's surely a capable wizard, but she's gone. And uh, so just keep an eye out on your way to wherever you're going. Hopefully she'll turn up for you, where you'll be able to catch some sort of a, some sort of wind of her. I will, thank you. And uh, he returns himself to his drink. Uh, did you have anything specifically specific that you would like to do for the rest of the evening? Um, drink, just, just, just drink. Okay, just like you just like drink. drink. <laughs> you don't drink twelve drinks, but you do drink eleven Good. drinks, <laughs> and you go to bed very drunk. Well, that's yeah. That con check. Ooh, Nat won that con check there. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's a bad night for you. It is a very bad night, and somebody is going to have to get you up in the morning. Mordecai, uh, did you have anything specific that you wanted to do? I am making the... I am making a dedicated effort to stay away from the bars. Um, sure. Mordecai's done enough drinking his problems away. He's... I don't know, being back in Desparis kind of reconnected him with the Wanderer a little bit. I think initially he's doing just that. He's just kind of aimlessly wandering, being contemplative. You wander for a while, and it's a quiet night. In the end, you end up making your way back to the Mage's Guild, and you take your room there, and you fall asleep. And when you sleep, you dream. Normally, your dreams have been fairly banal. It's one part of your life that really hasn't changed from before you had a patron riding shotgun. This night, however, breaks the mold. You know you're dreaming instantly when you find yourself back in the Nexus. Oh, shit. You wander seemingly endless roads down paths that are familiar to you. A cobble street from Bulwark bleeding seamlessly into the King's Way between Bulwark and the Wall bleeding into an unmarked path beyond the Wall. You are enraptured by the detail that you didn't realize you knew, almost to the point where you don't notice the paths converge. The Wanderer is sitting in his elven form with his back to a way sign. You see, it, it still all exists. It's a little more localized to you now. And he gestures around, and sure enough, you recognize every bit of road that you've ever walked down is represented here in the Nexus. Does this look... I imagine I was pretty dumbstruck the first time that we were all in the Nexus, but uh, mm -hmm. is this the same Nexus? Or is this like a weird Mordecai dream Nexus? Yes! Excellent. Um, <laughs> and there's all of them have kind of converged here where he's hanging out. Yep. Let's walk up next to him, kind of look around. I point down. I, I point down one of the the paths to that I recognize as being in in Bulwark, and I just kind of I just kind of say, "Hey, I, I think I live around the corner from there." I think it's mom's place. Looks up and you see him mentally jog down the road. Yes, I... You do, and there's a bakery next door, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You used to work there, didn't you? Not long. Not long. No, just... But just to, just to earn some pocket money. When I was younger, yeah. Sorry, I'll get out of your head there. I mean... It's... It's kind of hard not to be there, <laughs> but... I mean, this is 
Your life are the roads I have to walk down right now, and it's kind of... It's been a long time since I since the Rite of Ages, and you really... It's been a long time since I've gotten to know somebody this intimately. Well, hey, you're all right yourself. Yeah, thank you. It's my brother that's next, though, isn't it? The general. Uh, I think so. What can yeah, you tell me about uh, him? Uh, he's a stubborn ass, but he's got a good head on his shoulders. He's a military type, born and bred, literally created for the purpose of order, where my order comes in very specific ways. His is, he is a being of it. We contrast in a lot of ways, but we do work together. Nations that build roads conquer worlds. Are you sure that we're talking about your brother and not my dad? Because you just hit, like, all the same boxes. (laughs) (laughs) And you see him, his eyes kind of glaze over, and then he snaps back. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's about the... It's about the right... My brother's less about subterfuge, but he thinks it's very fun when he gets the opportunity. It'll be weird going back, but I think I'm due for it. Well, you're cruising around in uh, my memories and whatnot. If anything jumps out at you, that like, I don't know, I'm starting to think all this that we're bumping into is connected back to stuff beyond the wall. I'm sure of it. If you, if there's anything you bump into that you think might be relevant, even if you think that I'm thinking about it, you let me know. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want this solved as much as anybody else. Though the trip out has been nice. Hard to deny that. I'm glad that I can be of service. (laughs) And as you laugh, you wake up to a bright, sunny morning. Mm. Jackson, as has been your routine, you find yourself awake before the rest of the world. You check the parchment to see if there's a letter back from Addie. There is not. As has become routine and checking, I am a little bit more disappointed because it's been a couple of days. Um, And I pick up a quill to write her again to just try to work through some of the things that have been going on and it's just too much. And I can't put that on her. And I set the quill down and then I set... I I wrap up the scroll and put it away. You leave the Mage's Guild to walk the quiet streets, though you're not alone. Joining you in your early morning walk are the other elves and the undesirables. In your youth, you may have lumped them into the same group, but things are different now. You're different now. You make your alms to the guides as you enter the temple. You've grown accustomed to doing so, even though you were not a religious man in your youth. You make your alms to Donpri the craftsman, Yari the hearthkeeper, Grousey the cook, and Cly the guardian, and Yaren the scholar. You return to the temple library once again. You call it the library, even though it is really... It, it, it's just the shrine to Yaren. You call it the library because you're really a climb man. You know that. Everybody knows that. But you're trying to better yourself. And it's like baby steps, baby steps. And it's not even really a library. It's like three shelves. Three shelves. And of it's... books that are like general use. Yeah. And like, look, there's some variety there. Not a lot, but there's some. Yeah. But you're not going to find, you know, you're not going to find fiction in there. This is this is all pretty, pretty useful stuff. Pretty dry stuff being honest. And a priest sits down with you, an elven man named Brother Christopher. Uh, He asks if there's anything that he can help you with. Okay, before I do this, Chase, is there anything... Okay, because the thing I have in my head right now is Catholic confession. Absolutely. With the doors and the... Okay, is there anything like that? Because I like this idea of talking to the priest, Jackson just wouldn't do it in the open. Sure. You ask if there is some place okay. private that the two of you could go to to speak with. 
He nods and he takes you into a back room. And while there is not a Catholic style confession, there is a prayer room that at 430 in the morning is devoid of life. There are some benefits to being an elf, I guess. That there are. How can I help you, brother? Is he an elf? He is. Uh, actually, roll me uh, roll me a okay. history check. Advantage, because this happened to you. <laughs> That's one of my favorite chasisms so far. Natural 20. Excellent. Thank you. This was the elf that was working the first night that you came to the temple. That was here. That okay. was here. When your fellows were talking to the skeevy guy in the back alley, you were here. <laughs> oh. oh, way back yeah. then. Yeah. That long when ago. When you was a human man. When I was a human man. Okay. Well, uh, brother Christopher, um, I don't know, man. My life is just, <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, man. I've got pointy ears now. Have you ever heard of someone going from normal ears to pointy ears? Well, to me, the pointy ears are the normal ears. That's, but that's the... I have pointy ears now, and that's not normal, and it should be, and it's not. And I can't... I've done a lot, and I've I've done a lot of things, and I've done a lot of things I'm not proud of, and if I could take back some of those choices, I don't know how many lives I could have saved. I don't know how different things would have been, but my life could be so much different than it is right now, and it's just not... And I'm stuck here, and I'm not even me anymore. And I don't... It's just a lot. It sounds like it. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't... I can't... I can't get into specifics. It's one of those, you know, government description, you and know, he, NDAs and... He, he nods and puts, above your pay puts grade his hand and up whole, and says, I, I, can't, I, I, I understand. You were not the first military man to walk into my chapel and, well, the implication that you were not always an elf is certainly curious. I know better than to pry. I served as well, as did most of my fellows. I understand that you are not at liberty to say many things. Sacrifice is one of the virtues that all of the guides teach. You have sacrificed much, Mr. Silver. Have you, Mr. Silver, have you considered joining the church? I don't think I can read well enough. I don't, I don't, I don't think I can speak well enough. I'm not a, I'm not a learned person. I'm trying. There's, there's this girl and I'm, I've never... At that, he laughs. Like, I'm sorry. There's there's <laughs> usually a girl. I've never wanted to be better before. I was always good enough, and I always had someone telling me what the next step was. Right, then left, then right, then left. Wake up here, do this, go to sleep now. Kill this thing. And it always made sense. And now... Now I've got... Big purpose... And I don't... I don't want it. I had a chance. I had a chance. Everything could have been different. I could have walked away from this. I could have woken him up. And he would have given me everything I wanted. A family. Status. Peace. And that's all I've ever wanted. And I had it and I'd said no. And now I've had to do some things that I never wanted to do again and I never thought I'd have to do again. It's one thing to serve and it's one thing to sacrifice, but this this is a whole nother level that if I'd known what this was, I would never have signed up. We never know what we're signing on for. Not at the beginning. Maybe some people have an inkling of to what the military is going to be like, but we don't know what we're signing on to when we sign on to life. We don't get second chances. Not really. Not like this. Not in whatever line of work you found yourself in. Clearly, second chances aren't, aren't a thing. No. The best thing you can do is 
make a call and stick with it. I've had to make calls before. They suck. Best hope you can do is... And maybe you get a shiny medal after the fact. I'm sorry you've had to give so much. I really am. If there's anything I can give back to you, I'd love to help you. The church would love to help you. We help our own here. Maybe a little bit better than the military does, some say. A lot of folk come here after there. We've got a couple of different cores of paladins and knights errant that do a fair bit of good work out there. You might find some direction there if you like. Maybe even as a cleric. I'm not... You don't read too well, so maybe not cleric. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe cleric. We'll figure it out. Maybe. Maybe cleric. I don't... That, uh... That doesn't sound too bad. Can you help me with this 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 book? And I hold up the... I pull out the, the cleric book that I, you know, appropriated mm-hmm. last time I was here. Sure. I've been trying to get through this because I never had magic, and now I have a little bit, um, and I've got Gary here, and he just poofs. <laughs> hey, we, uh, we, we we said we wouldn't be talking about that kind of thing in public, man. I, I, Gary, I know, but I'm having a heart to heart. Hold on, I need to, I need to roll for another thing. Okay, uh, he is mildly surprised that there is a fairy dragon in here. He was not expecting that tonight. Uh, you see his eyes go wide, it's... and he locks eyes with you, and he takes the book, and he turns it back upright because you were definitely holding it upside down. <laughs> Absolutely. Um. Well, first off, that is going to that's that's a really important thing that you need to do there first. Reading the proper direction always much more useful than the other way. I right, thank thank you. Thank you. Now look, I will happily help you with this, but you need to steal yourself and stay the course. This is I am not a psychic. But I have a feeling that whatever you're, you've gotten yourself into is going to continue to be a trial. But trials all have one thing in common, is that they have resolutions. You're going to find a way out of this, Jackson Silver. And that way out is going to be made better by you. Your presence, your experience. That's what's going to end this right. Thank you. Of course. Um, now, this is called Healing Word. And you spend the rest <laughs> of the night going over basic cleric spells. Are you all good with leaving in the morning, then? Yeah. I think Zephyr wants to get oh, yeah. as far away from here as possible. Morikai's a little less eager to go, being that this is Wanderer home turf, but he's 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 gotten his Wanderer fill. Yes. Can I talk so sometime that morning then cuz I, you know, don't sleep. Sure. Can I talk with Gaia real quick? Of course. Where do you do this? Just in a a quiet place where I'm perusing the book, the the cleric book I have. Okay. Um hey, uh Gaia, are you there? Of course, I'm always here. Gaia. I'm always here, Jackson. Um Oh, that's that's right. Yes, because tattoos and everything. Um, mm-hmm. so I'm not. I don't really know how this whole magic thing works, but I'm trying to figure it out. And now I've got you, and now I've got these ears, and I've got Gary, and I think if I'm reading this, if I'm reading this spell book right, um, it says I need a focus. Mm, absolutely. Can you help with that? somehow or i don't i don't know what that means can you but i figured i'd ask you well your focus is what you'd be channeling your divine energy through okay i can help with that if you'd like but i i think brother christopher would prefer if we did this outside that makes a lot of sense sorry brother just apropos of nothing (laughs) and i just grab the book 
Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't blow this up. And I go outside. Okay. Uh, you go outside, and your f- I go to um, I want to go to that grassy wooded area Mm -hmm. where I first met Cameron the Elf. Excellent. So yeah, you go to the central, it's essentially central park of the city, but it's a big circle, like right in the heart of it. You sit down and you place your hand on the ground uh, and you close your eyes and you deep inhale and you feel Gaia's energies flowing through you. And you reach into the earth and the earth kind of gives at your hand. You feel her become a little bit more a part of you in this moment. And she says, yeah, you're definitely a cly man. And you reach in and you pull out from the ground a tiny wooden and stone sword. A little bit bigger than a cocktail sword <laughs> and certainly more sturdy. But this is uh, um, a little symbol of your favorite weapon. And while the scythe is huh. the weapon you choose to use and the weapon of your father's, the sword is your weapon. And it this always is will be. Interesting. And I take it and I... And I, I, I take it... Um, And somewhere from deep within my pack, I pull out, I go digging and digging and digging and pull out a small wrapped package Mm -hmm. um, that's just at the bottom, very carefully wrapped, but hasn't seen the light of day. And I pull it out and it is my captain's insignia Mm. that I refuse to wear. And I pull it out and I kind of work the, I work the little stone sword into the back of it Mm -hmm. and then i attach the insignia to wear all right you you pop that on and as you do that uh you look over and you see the final flight starting to pack up and get ready to move um mordecai uh roll me an intelligence check oh god what am I, Jackson? Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Right. Yes, you are. Fuck. So everybody starts to pack up and uh, get rolling out. Um, and you get towards the edge of town when you realize, shit, where's Zephyr? Wait! We left him in the Wait! We left him in the bar. Stop the wagon! Wait, everyone stop. We're down one dragonborn. Joe, you good? I'm here, yes, but... Fuck, where's Zephyr? All right, we're missing the other dragon. I'm going to make an investigation check. Excellent. Uh, 18, and I frantically scan the skies because um, that's actually, obviously where uh, it is. R- you scan the- Roll a, if I may here, roll a uh, senses. Perception? Yeah, oh, perception, sorry. D- different, yeah, senses different is my situation. shit, homie. Thirteen. Uh, if you, I guess you sort of catch the the faint uh, silhouette of Zephyr just like sort of uh, sitting on like the edge of the roof of the salad bar. Like, please, it's the salad bowl. It's the salad bowl. It is the salad bowl, Zach. You what said I bar. Said? Oh, salad bar, salad bowl. You said the other that. thing that salads are in. <laughs> so yeah, Zephyr is like drooped over, like sitting, like legs dangling off the edge of the roof, with like his loot on his lap, and he's just like plucking it, just like <laughs> slowly, <laughs> pl- like, like strumming, just like. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, buddy, well, Zephyr, what do you want? We're getting ready to go. You, we gotta go to okay, concentric. Okay, I'll be right. Right down. Um, Do you want to jump? I'll catch you. <laughs> and I just hold my arms up. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, how high is the roof? Three stories. Three stories. Oh. Three of them. That's a big, that's a high Salad roof. bigger than I thought it was. I'll catch you. Well, we do great. have mall jail in the basement. I mean, but that's in right. the basement. It's underground. Um. You, you do, Acrobatics. We do this or what? <laughs> 
Nat 20! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you... What the you hell? never thought of yourself as a drunken master, but you tumble off the roof of the salad bowl, <laughs> and you damsel catch yourself in Mordecai's arms. Take Make a constitution away. saving throw. Constitution? No. Zephyr. Make oh. a constitution saving throw. Oh, good. Because you're, you're still a little drunk. Don't hurt I'm on me. still a little drunk. That's a 14. All right, you perk it back a little bit. Mm. A little bit. My hero. <laughs> I set him down. <laughs> and then catch him, because he's a little wobbly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think... I, Zephyr's just, like, grabs, like, the neck of his loot and is just <laughs> sort of, like, dragging it behind him. And it's just like, oh, hey, I hate buddy. this place. Let's get out of here. Go on the nice open road. We'll go see some mountains. It'll be great. So it's the three of us and the four of them? Yes. Okay, Wyatt is not with us? No, plus Wyatt, plus Wyatt. Beat me to it. Oh, okay, so... Wyatt is sticking with you guys. He wants... He is going to (laughs) petition the king to get his fucking inn rebuilt. I've got clout. I can help. He's rolling with us to bulwark, baby. Wyatt is there, and he is more than happy. You missed it, though. Last night, he did provide uh, wonderful services as the uh, ticket taker oh, and purchaser. And so he worked box. Yeah, he worked someone box. competent. He's the box office manager. Yeah, he, he worked box office, and he was someone incredibly useful. Was. Thank you very much. Dawn breaks over the city. And as it did when you started your journey, you leave with the cresting sun, though today you ride with it at your side rather than in your face. It's a shorter journey to the range that divides the peninsula, where Concetre sits at the top. Two days is all it will take for you to reach the foothills, but it is going to take an entire day for you to climb the mountains. Um, at some point along the trip, uh, is it arguable, Jackson, that we've seen you with your cleric book? Oh, yeah, definitely. I need to make a walking and reading check. (laughs) Absolutely, you do. Dex? Yeah? Dex? Just just Dex? Um. Yes. Okay. Uh. Twelve. Okay, you can... At first, you do a lot of walking and reading, and then you realize, oh, you know what, this might just be easier if I, like, ride in the wagon for a little while while I do this part of my... I refuse to ride in the wagon. Okay. <laughs> I I actually keep myself um, a, a fair distance, at least 15 or 20 feet away from the wagon. Okay. Uh, then you constantly are at the tail you read and walk just fine. Okay. The roads are, you know, the this is uh, south of Despera. There is no wildlife or anything. There's barely hills to speak of. It is barren, cracked desert. You make trips to the wagon only to get water, and you are quiet and kind with the final flight, but you you are not engaging them if you can avoid it i like i like to think that just every couple yes. like every half hour or so jackson's lagged far enough behind the trail that he used to close his book for a second jog back up to catch up and then repeat just <laughs> absolutely yes i think zephyr's like sitting on like the side of the wagon just sort of shooting gouts of different things <laughs> out of my gob you're absolutely insufferable right now just sitting there just like Bah! Fire, ice, lightning. Hey, 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 Zephyr. Yes? Make a perception check. Oh, boy. Ah, ah, Rufus, no! <laughs> that is 14. Uh, I think that's enough that you've noticed that I'm, that Jackson's wearing the captain's insignia. I think he gives you a, 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 a partially sarcastic, but like partially like you are a captain, but like like a, just like a, like the a two half-hearted finger salute. salute, like yeah. yeah, like captain. Mordecai, were you on the wall too? Uh, yeah, but in in a different capacity. Um, okay, which I've hinted. You at. should probably here. 
Okay, make this make this perception check too. I mean, my pass is fifteen. I probably picked up on it. Oh well, no, no, I'm looking for a higher number for a very specific thing. Um, do 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 twenty four. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, I'm gonna type you something, Griffin. Oh, oh. boy. Oh. oh can, am I allowed to know this? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not, Chase. These no, are Chase. You keep it secret. Yeah, These are player yes. secrets. You know, I've How's been trying. Feel, to GM? <laughs> I didn't. Okay, uh, then I guess I'll send it to Chase as well as Griffin. I didn't. Why do I get left yeah. out? Because <laughs> your perception <laughs> sucks, dog. <laughs> get fuck. Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck. I've been trying to sort of figure out kind of the the sort of regimen that Zephyr was in during the war, and then it just totally hit me. Like I feel like he was the alchemists in like during the Ishval and war in Full Metal mm-hmm. Alchemist, just like group of magic users that just showed up and fucked stuff up when it was needed. Absolutely. And it was like probably real intense. The way, at least, that I have been mentally playing with it since we've started playing this is that warlocks all worked together. Mm-hmm. Like, you were all kind of kept in a in a singular collective, and you were an ace in the hole. Because you, you brought the thunder sometimes quite literally when you needed to. As I kind of, like, pace back to, to sidle up with you, Jackson, which you got your book, uh, Mordecai opens his mouth, probably to comment on the book, and then he just stops and pats his pockets and goes, Ah, oh, shit! And, like, looks and sees Despera on the horizon. I forgot to do something. Damn it. What did you forget? Uh, I pull out the, the, the oh shit potion. I was like, I was gonna have, uh-huh. I was gonna have Diamond take a look at this and see what it actually did, so it's not just a. Well, can't can't Saphir do that? That's what he's done. That's not what he did with my oh shit potion, and I pull out the the flask of sunshine. Mm. Um, he could do it for me. He could probably do it for you. I assume. Maybe well, we'll get to that later. Put yeah. it back in my pocket to forget about it later. Um, okay. What you uh, what you what you got there, bud? Oh, it's a book that Brother Kristoff gave me. Um, it's all about <laughs> like how you can be a a, a a a man of the guides, but also still know how to swing a weapon. Kinda nice. Like, there's some really cool stuff in here. Like, like there's this whole. Oh shit! It's upside down again. Yeah, Hold on. I just I turn it around. It's with you. yeah. It's like this one here. I just say some words and do some things, and then channel some magic um, right through this, and I pull the insignia a little bit and show you that the the little sword mm-hmm. the stone sword that's embedded i got that from gaia so that i can like actually do the things in this book so i'll be able to like have better protection nice. magic for us or like you know if we get really fucked up i can make us less fucked up you are you are i gotta say man you are leaning into this curve and i man props to you well you know they did slap this shiny metal thing on me I guess I gotta take some responsibility for those the uh, for the people I'm serving with. So you know, if I can keep us safer, you know, the three of us have got a long long way to go yet. So, mm-hmm. and I clap a big hand on your shoulder. It's like, hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, Just, do you know hey, what this word is right here? This, um, it's light. It just said, yeah, that yeah. Thank you. I thought it said. I thought it, but but. Light means like not heavy. Okay, and I just so I, I point to the sun. <laughs> light. Oh, I thought that was bright. I thought that had a B in You're it. Partially there. There's these things called synonyms. <laughs> a synonymon. Anyway, <laughs> a cinnamon. Yes, S- synonym a hard tack. S- Cinna with. <laughs> Oh, okay. Meet All right, cinnamon I'm ghosts. Yeah, All right, cool. Cinnamon ghosts. Um, yeah, I, I just, I place, you know, put a hand on your shoulder, clap down, and just say, just don't go pulling rank on us. I really hope I don't have to. I shouldn't have to. We're, you know, we've got to see this through. Jackson, that was a joke. One way or another. That was a joke. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> then I, then I, I won't pull rank on you. Wink. <laughs> we'll get you there someday. All right. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you for joining us here on Another Path. You can find our website at anotherpathpodcast.com, on Twitter at anotherpathpod, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash anotherpathpodcast. You can support our efforts by donating at patreon.com slash anotherpath, or by giving us a rating and review over on Apple Podcasts or whatever podcatcher that'll let you. You can find me on Twitter at TQLoudly, Ryan at Ryan underscore Albrecht, Griffin at Griffcold, and Zach at that guy Zach Rob. We'll be back in two weeks with a new episode, and until then, remember that peace is found before us, not behind us. Mm-hmm.